What do the Bengals do next now that Larry Ogunjobi is headed to Pittsburgh? Hi again, everyone. I'm James Erpine of AllBengals.com and Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Welcome into CBT. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for the latest Bengals analysis here on YouTube. And let's be honest here. It felt like there was at least a, a 50% chance, maybe higher, that Larry Ogunjobi would return to the Bengals. There was some momentum. It was picking up steam. It felt like players in the locker room were talking about it. And it didn't happen. He ultimately signed a one-year deal with the Steelers on Tuesday. So what does it mean for your Cincinnati Bengals? I'm going to tell you right now. But first, a quick word from Rivertown Inquiry. If you want quality merchandise, quality t-shirts like this one, you got to get to RivertownInquiry.com. Doug and his team do a great job. They just got uh, new hats in stock. They have a bunch of different Cincy gear. It's not just orange and black, but if you want jungle gear, if you want the our tiger like uh, tiger lock stripe tee, uh, you, you could get that. You can get all these different things in one spot. RivertownInquiry.com. They're also located in Oakley, about 10 minutes from downtown open Tuesday through Sunday. So check them out right now at rivertowninquiry.com. Um, okay, so Larry Ogunjobi signs with the Steelers. And look, I think he's going to be good in Pittsburgh. His AFC North tour continues after spending the first four years of his career in Cleveland. Signs a one-year deal with the Bengals. Appears to head to the NFC North, fails that physical, and ultimately ends up in Pittsburgh. One-year deal makes a lot of sense with Stephon Tewitt retiring. I get all that. I think he's going to be successful there. What does this mean for your Cincinnati Bengals? This is Cincinnati Bengals talk. You want to know what? where do the Bengals go from here? Well, as crazy as it sounds, I do think that Ndama Kang Su is in play. And I know some are going to say, well, he's older and he's past his prime and all of these things. But he hasn't missed the game since 2011 when he was suspended. This guy is the definition of durable. He is available, he is healthy, and it continues to play at a pretty high level. Had six sacks last year for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Had six sacks the year prior for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Played in all 33 regular season games. Had two sacks in both of their postseason runs, six total postseason games. So to me, Ndamukong Su, certainly someone at least worth having a conversation about. He talked about it on ESPN earlier this week. He doesn't want to retire he certainly wants to, to go to a team and probably win at this stage of his career. And because he is used to winning in, in Los Angeles and Tampa Bay over the past couple of years. And, and let's be honest here, the Bengals are a contender. And they're a team that could use a guy like Indama King Sue. Uh, another guy, Darius Phylon, could make some sense. The former Raider, the former Charger. He's younger, 28 years old. Uh, doesn't have the production necessarily that a guy like Sue has and not many do. Uh, but he could give the, their interior pass rush a little bit of a boost as well. The other option, as far as defensive tackle goes, might be their approach with a lot of these positions, which is let's roll with the young guys. Maybe it's going to be, you know, Zachary Carter here and there, Cam Sample here and there, and maybe they kick Sam Hubbard inside at times. And that's kind of how they play it. And wouldn't be shocking at all to see them go that route. And is there a little bit of a risk in that? Yeah, but I, I think it's possible. Also, what it does is it opens up, to me, their chances of addressing one of these other weaknesses. Do they go out in free agency now and go get a Riley Reef? Do they go out and bring back a Quentin Spain? Do they go after that wide receiver four that I've been talking about, whether it's Will Fuller or OBJ? I'd be open to either one of them. I know there are a lot of people anti-Odell Beckham Jr., but to me, what's the goal? The goal is to win, and so those guys can help you win as well. Um, look, the Bengals, they should be able to figure out that spot. Now, will there be one guy that gives them seven sacks in place of Larry Ogunjobi? Not necessarily, but a B.J. Hill, his snaps are going to go up this year. That's the reality of it. That's why they paid him and signed him to a three-year, $30 million deal. So there's one. Uh, I certainly think that Zachary Carter, Cam Sample, those guys uh, are going to expand their roles. And then with Joseph Osai coming back, you would imagine that you're going to want Trey Hendricks and Joseph Osai and Sam Hubbard on the field at the same time. Osai good in the run, obviously a good uh, edge rusher as well. I think it could make a lot of sense. So the Bengals might just be comfortable with what they have. I think there was uh, some talk about Larry Ogunjobi returning. Instead, he doesn't. And who knows, maybe he's going to play well for the Steelers this year. And I joked about this on Twitter. He's going to play well for Pittsburgh this year and sign a mega deal with the Ravens to complete the AFC North quartet 
as he's played for now three of the four teams in the division. For more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out all of our videos, including Frank Pollock this week. We dropped it on Tuesday, released this video, and you've loved it. And we still got highlights from OTAs uh, that were from last week that we posted this week. And Andrew kills it as always. So for Andrew, uh, for Andrew Fox Miller, our channel coordinator, I'm James Rapine, signing off for now right here on CBT Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Don't do this and leave it out there. It's boom! We just reload. Grab the ball to help. We got inside foot. Son of a bitch. You pop it so hard, you drop the pit ball. Come on, don't be fing shot. I had to quit basketball in eighth grade because I got an F in England. My dad took me down to practice. They go tell the coach why you quit. Get that fing grade up.